We see the world around us in three dimensions, but ordinary photography shows us only two. Now you don't have to settle for two-dimensional pictures of a three-dimensional world. Introducing a new dimension in photography, the Nishika N8000 3D camera. Because the world isn't flat. Hello, I'm Vincent Price. If you love classic movies, this wax museum might remind you of one of my best-known films, House of Wax. While it wasn't the first 3D movie, it certainly was the most famous. And its 3D effects seemed so terrifyingly real, the audiences screamed in horror. Professor Jared was one of my favorite roles, sculpting these lovely creatures out of wax and then becoming a villain of monstrous proportions. You know, 3D wasn't exactly new when House of Wax was made in 1953. In fact, 3D photography and stereographics first appeared in the 1800s. Many households had a stereoscope. You held them up to your eyes and you saw three-dimensional scenes. Then in the 1950s, 3D became even more popular in movies, some starring yours truly. But all these earlier efforts shared a common problem. You had to use clumsy equipment, awkward viewers or special glasses to see the 3D effect. It wasn't fun and you looked so silly. Oh, things have changed. 3D movies still require these ridiculous glasses, of course but there's been an extraordinary development in still photography. This, the Nishika N8000. This remarkable new camera lets you take 3D photos you can enjoy without special glasses or viewers. So real, they're almost alive. Miraculous. This photo has such realistic depth, it feels as if you're looking into the picture rather than simply at it. I just hold a photo squarely in front of me at a distance of one and a half to two feet, and voila, the scene is alive. This breakthrough in home photography didn't happen overnight, you know. It took 15 years of research by hundreds of engineers and technicians and over $50 million dollars to create a system so innovative it's protected by more than a hundred patents worldwide. What strikes most people when they first see the N8000 is its four lenses. Each time you take a picture, this quadrilens system records four different views of the same scene. The Nishika laboratory then puts the views back together, creating your 3D photo. Sounds technical and complicated, but don't worry. This camera is as easy to use as any you've ever owned. Here's how. First load two AA batteries into the battery chamber. Now every once in a while, check to make sure your batteries are still good by pressing this switch. If the batteries have enough charge, this red indicator light will come on. Oh, I love the color red. Then load your film, not special film, just any standard 35 millimeter 100 ASA color print film, the kind you find everywhere. But remember, the Nishika camera uses two frames of film for each 3D picture, so you'll get half as many photos as indicated on the label. But they'll be three times as thrilling. For example, this 36 exposure roll will give me 18 3D pictures. To load your film, open the back door by pulling up on the rewind knob. Insert the film end into one of the slots on the take-up spool. Make sure you secure a film perforation hole on the hook at the base of the slot. 
Draw the film cartridge across the back of the camera and drop it into the film chamber. But draw out only enough film for the cartridge to reach the chamber. No, you won't find yourself in a chamber of horrors if you draw out too much. But you might not have enough film for the last picture. To take up any slack, just turn the thumb wheel at the base of the take-up spool. As with most cameras, line up the film's perforation holes with the film advanced sprockets. Close the back, advance your film until you see a number one in the counter window. That's it. You're ready to take 3D pictures. Each time you take a picture, make sure the lighting selector is at the right setting. Sunny, partly sunny, or cloudy indoors. Not cloudy indoors, it means cloudy or indoors. When you're outside, choose any of these, depending on the lighting conditions. But when you're indoors, set the aperture selector to cloudy indoors. After you've completed a roll of film, rewind it by pressing the rewind button and turning the rewind crank clockwise. Open the back door and remove the film cartridge. Pop it into one of the convenient postage paid mailers that Nishika provides free of charge and you're ready to send it off to Nishika's lab for processing. The suspense will be over before you know it. The lab will return your photos within three business days of the time they receive your film. Whew, but I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't taken any 3D photos yet, have we? Well, it's time to remedy that situation. Let's move to beautiful Cypress Gardens in Florida. Yeah, now, wasn't that easy? Well... You know, having starred in some of the most famous 3D moving pictures, I think that I'll just direct this 3D still picture myself, okay? Oh, what do you know? Thank you, girl. That's pretty good. Well, now the fun begins. Hello, Robert. Hello, Vincent! You're just in time to help me explain how to take 3D pictures with your Nishika 3D camera. Let me introduce you to my friends, Robert and Carol McMahon, and their children, Kevin and Cindy. You know, taking pictures with an Ishika is really not very different from using an ordinary two-dimensional camera. But if you want to take the kind of 3D pictures that make everyone scream, bravo, then there are a few special considerations, mostly involving distances and positioning, and you'll have to bear them in mind. You ready? Right, Vincent. Okay, guys, let's get ready for the shot. Okay. The first thing to remember when shooting with your Nishika is always to hold the camera in a horizontal position like this. If you hold it in a vertical position, your pictures will come out flat without any 3D at all, and we wouldn't want that now, would we? You know, your 3D photos will be most impressive when your picture contains a foreground, main subject, and background. It's as easy as one, two, three. Overlapping different objects at different distances will also maximize the 3D effect. Okay, Robert, let's take our first shot, shall we? The main subject in this photo is Kevin. When you're composing your 3D shots, think depth. Try to keep your main subject at a medium distance from the camera. Have something in front of your main subject and have something behind your main subject. This way you have at least three good planes where you'll experience a striking 3D effect. Foreground object in front, then your main subject, and then your background. In outdoor shots like this one, the ideal distance for your main subject is between 15 and 22 feet from the camera, although a couple of feet either way won't make too much difference. These distance guidelines are designed to help you take the most effective 3D shots possible. Follow them whenever you can, and you're sure to be satisfied with the results. Now let's choose our foreground. Just about any available object can serve as your foreground. Let's see. This bush will do just fine. Although those branches over there would work equally as well. The foreground should be as close to six feet from the camera as possible. When you combine a foreground object at six feet with a main object at from 15 to 22 feet, the 3D effect is spectacular. 
a caution here. Don't let your foreground object come too close to the camera. The camera's focal range starts at five and a half feet. Nothing in your picture should be any closer to the camera than that. For your foreground, six feet is ideal. Five feet is just too close for comfort. As you look through the viewfinder, move around until you get the composition you like best. You want the foreground object to overlap more distant objects in the photo. Then the 3D effect will be particularly dramatic. Remember, we're doing everything we can to capture depth, the crucial ingredient in 3D photography. The only thing left now is the background, and this is really easy. You just don't want your background too close to your main subject. And try not to pose your subject against a flat, uniform background like a blank wall. If you do, the result will probably be a picture that won't have the depth you want. To enhance your 3D photos, try to use the brightest colors possible, like Kevin's yellow shirt. Robert, check your lighting selector. Right, Vincent, we're in full sunlight, so I'm leaving it on sunny. Very good. Shoot. OK, Kevin, this one's for Grandma. Now let's take another picture with Carol and Cindy. Photographing a group of people isn't much different from what we've just done. Robert, since you're practically a 3D expert by now, why don't you help me set up this shot? Sure, Vincent. Carol, you stand in the middle. Cindy, you stand on one side of your mom. Kevin, you stand on the other side. Not too close. Keep a little space between all of you. Well, since everybody's at approximately the same distance from the camera, it's best to leave a little space between each person. This way, the background will show through, increasing the 3D effect. Foreground and the background are both just great. Now, if you were setting up this shot, you might be tempted to bring one of the children up to the foreground position. But this doesn't usually work out too well. Avoid photographing people in the foreground when the main subject is further away from the camera. Oh, by the way, although it's not ideal, you can photograph people from as close as six feet as long as they are your main subject. And try not to photograph people from further away than 25 feet. You ready? Say cheese. Next, we're all going up to a house. It's on a hill, but alas, it's not haunted. Well, here we are in Cindy's house, and it's her birthday. Happy birthday, Cindy. Thank you, Mr. Price. You're welcome. You know, when you're shooting indoors, lighting is more critical than ever. And that's why your Nishika is equipped for a hot shoe flash. Any standard flash will work, but we suggest the Nishika Twin Light 3000. It gives you maximum flexibility in all kinds of situations. Notice how Carol is adjusting the flash to bounce off the ceiling. That gives a soft glow. The direct flash head aims light directly at Cindy. You can't do this with most other flash units. Your Nishika will tell you when you need to use a flash. Just press the shutter release part way down, and if you see a red dot in the viewfinder like this, you should use a flash. Set the lighting selector at the cloudy indoors position. Indoors, the foreground is still around six feet. But because of space limitation and the fact that we're using a flash, the optimum distance from the camera for your main subject is 10 to 14 feet. And remember, the more interesting the background, the better the picture. Vincent, how about starring in this picture with Cindy? Why, sure. I'd love to co-star with you, Cindy. Great. Ah, oh, that looks good. Smile. Nishika offers these accessories for your N8000 camera. The Twin Light 3000 electronic flash, the Nishika tripod, the deluxe camera bag, the N8000 camera case, professional camera strap, and lens cleaning kit, and both two and four year extended warranties. 
The Nishika camera and accessories are available exclusively through your American 3D Corporation independent distributor. Well, it's time to say farewell, at least for now. I've enjoyed our little get-together, and I hope you have too. But before I go, let me say how delighted I am that you have entered the wondrous world of Nishika. Many happy memories captured in lifelike 3D await you. You're sure to be thrilled with the astonishing depth and realism of your photos. Just as thrilled, perhaps, as Professor Jared in the House of Wax was when he first contemplated the realism of these incredible creatures. The Nishika 3D camera. It will change the way you picture the world. <laughs>